So we'll let Coach B open up. Yeah, that was a great win, everybody. That was a really great win. I think you look at that and say, what do you mean? That was a great win. There's some games that you uh, you just got to grind out. And, and if, the, as, as time goes on, I find those are some of the best that you ever have. And uh, to get that eighth win in the conference, to get the 18th win overall, uh, you can see this. I, I, Steve's doing a tremendous job at Rutgers. They fought us tooth and nail every minute. And we just had enough. And, and we had enough grit. There was nothing pretty about that one at all. But sometimes those those uh, those those games that could be ugly are are beautiful wins. They're beautiful wins for our kids to fight through all that when they could have went south when it went when we went down four. So I'm excited for Zach who came out great in the first half. Derek in the second half. We did just enough to win the game, and we're excited about it. Questions for Zach or Derek, please. Just go ahead, uh, Derek. What, what happened during the timeout with 6:38 to go? Um, then you guys went on the 10-0 run after that. You had been down four. What was the discussion there? Um, so not to get rattled. Uh, runs happened in the game, and um, you know, quite they're a really dangerous team. Actually, they got a lot of talent. So uh, you know, throughout the game, we knew it, we expected a run, and um, it just so happened to be at that time. So um, you know, Coach B did a great job of you know making sure everybody's on the same page, and we just came out and executed some plays on the stretch and kind of propelled us you know, to, to the victory tonight. Derek, what do you, you think is going on with the foul shooting right now for the whole team? Is that just a thing or what? Uh, honestly, I think we're thinking too much about it. Um, myself personally, and uh, I know for a fact, a couple other guys, just, you know, you want to make them so bad that you're kind of pressing, as well as just shooting it and let it be what it is. And, um, you, know, I, you know, usually we're a really great foul shooting team and, you know, it's very uncharacteristic, but I don't, you know, I don't expect it to get for. Zach, it was a little bit sloppy there for a little while in terms of moving the ball around and stuff like that. Is that just a case of you know something they were doing in terms of pressure, or yeah, you got to give them credit for their uh, kind of three-quarter court press that they had? It was a little different than we hadn't seen before, but um, we had a we figured it out, got a game plan for it, and we finished strong. Zach, what about the lift that Muhammad has been able to give you guys, especially from a three-point range? Yeah, Muhammad's playing really well lately um, on both ends of the floor, and especially when he's able to. Score the way he is, you know, it definitely takes what you to the next level. Derek, I mean, in these road games, you guys haven't really been able to avoid that run. And I mean, they kind of came at you with one tonight, but what was kind of different? How were you guys able to kind of pull through it? Um, you know, everybody in the country, you go on the road, it's, it's, it's the toughest thing to do is to win. And, uh, you know, especially with a team like Rutgers, with so many talented guys at each position. And, uh, tonight was just different. It was just a different type of field for the guys. We didn't uh, we really. Say we weren't worried, but it was a it was a calm factor between everybody. We looked at each other across across the line. Everybody had a calm factor. It was really composed. So, um, you know, that was the difference in tonight's game. We just a lot more, way more composed than we were in the road. We went down, and um, you know, we had a face. We just expected to win. So, um, you know, it was all the difference tonight. What do you think about the job that uh, Mo and DJ did down these two those big guys down low? Well, they did a great job. Uh, it was point emphasis going into the game. We had a control of the boards, and um, I thought they did a good job with that. Uh, they didn't. I don't think they got too many offensive they rebounds. Nine, they had nine. Only had nine. Williams had six. So. And then just DJ and Mo on the offensive end. I mean, they had eight combined, which is great to see, especially DJ having six. Zach, did, any, did you guys speak up in that huddle? I mean, was that all Coach Beeline in that late huddle, or was it two of you guys kind of say something? I think it's a mixture of both. Um, we just want to win. We, we didn't care how we got it done. You know, uh, it doesn't get chalked up as an ugly win. You know, a win is a win in our eyes. Uh, you know, we know that the, uh, when it comes to February and March, Player-led th teams be coach-led teams, and that's something we try to get better each game. Derek, after you guys started moving up, it was like 18-9 or something. It seemed, seemed like guys kind of got maybe a little loose with with the ball. Were, were you guys maybe feeling a little bit too good about yourselves early on there, or, or what was what happened? What changed? Um, uh, that's a great question. Actually, I think uh, I think we just didn't do a great job of keeping our foot on the gas, and um, we was, you know what was went working tonight was getting on the transition. And I think we kind of settled a lot in the transition myself personally, just taking, you know, they gave us great shots, but, uh, you, know, you know, we gave, we got good shots. I think we could have got great shots, but all the difference was, you know, it's just not being as aggressive as we were earlier in the game in transition. And um, like I said, we're early in the season. That's when this team is at its best when we get out of run. Anything else? Okay, fellas. Questions for Coach yeah. B. Good job. John. Obviously, you know what, what the loss would mean in terms of resume here and everything. Has that ever brought up to the team? Or you no, kind of not really. No, we're just talking about just win the next game. There's one game left on the schedule, win the next game. And, and obviously, in every road game is important, too. You know, I hate seeing that winning seven in there. You know, and, but 
but it's uh, we played really teams that are tough to beat at home. You know, we haven't had any teams that, that really don't have to do a great job at home. And uh, so it was a really good win for us just to get it any way you can. John, was this about this team resolve? I mean, they, they made that run, they went up four, and then you guys answered with that 10-0 run. You know, I think it's just maybe a, 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 we're at a point right now where they uh, they have confidence in, in themselves that they, they can either run our offense or run our defense um, and just make enough plays to win a game. It was a long way to go. But it, I think the whole thing was during that time, yeah, we were scoring. We were stopping. And our defense, they shot 40% tonight. So if you look at our trend the last five or six games, it's very positive. It's more the norm. And uh, so we had to do that today. And I, I think if Williams is going to get the six rebounds, it's, it's not close at that time. But he does. It's so odd to have a two guard go crash. So we're not used to boxing out. You just can't flip that switch like that. He did a great job. John, what does a, a win like this do confidence-wise, given coming off the Minnesota and the road record in general? Well, we, 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 this would be four out of five right now. And as I said, the road thing is, I think our teams, uh, you know, we're not, we haven't killers on the road, but over time we're good. But look at the road teams we have played. We've played really, really good teams. You, you, who goes and say, oh, we'll go play South Carolina, UCLA on the road. And that's, those are going to be our road games going to the conference. So we've worked really hard at that. We lost to Michigan State, Wisconsin on the road. Yeah, those are pretty good teams. So it's a, in the Big Ten, you're winning on the road, it's going to be really hard. Now, some teams have been able to do that, uh, but maybe they haven't won at home like we have. So uh, who knows? But it's big for us just to get another W. Road, anything, just get another W. Get in this, into the point in the Big Ten that you're up in the higher, at higher spots because this league is way underrated right now for how well it's going to do in March. John, what about the free throws? What's your take yeah, on that? Yeah, it's tough to I, – I, it, you try, almost stay away from it. You're, you're, we, we tried to do more qua, uh, quantity yesterday. We always do pressure ones, and we always shoot them, but we tried to do more quantity yesterday. And, uh, you know, we haven't had that situation um, that much. We had to do it to win a game, but it was early. You know, Rock was, Rock was shooting 80%. Duncan was shooting 90%. Derek shooting 90%, and all of a sudden they're going like two for five. So that's, that's not helpful to us. Um, but it, it's, I'm not going to touch it at all. We just, we're just going to continue to practice it and get, put them in situations where they can have success in practice so it, 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 it transitions to games. John, when things got a little scattershot in the second half, I mean, you were obviously yeah. really upset with the, the execution. Yeah, yeah. What were you looking for and what went awry? You know, their, their, uh, their pressure, when they got us, with, when they hit us with the pressure early, you know, when you don't have a lot of time to prepare, we, they, we saw a press, they hadn't done that. I think their length and their quickness. I mean, it's a really good defensive team. And we were just sloppy with it. I mean, we were sloppy. Fatigue could have a little factor on it, but we just got real sloppy with it. That was the biggest concern. I didn't mean, you know, we probably took too many threes. We got a little three happy. Uh, but at the same time, that's another no no. I'm not going to say, stop shooting threes. Because all of a sudden, everybody's going to be open. They, they got to trust them that they realize when they're not doing that. And I had to trust them there. That just take, we got to take care of the ball. But they, we blew up that play before the timeout and the turnover. We had run it. One guy just was, you know, in the huddle, sometimes one guy just misses one adjustment and it blew it up. That was, that's, I was more upset about that than the fact that we uh, uh, didn't get a basket. And especially in those first five, ten minutes, the way you guys established yeah. yourself on the glass, yeah. was that, did they show you something new with that? Yeah, you know, DJ had, uh, we showed something to DJ. DJ had two offensive rebounds the last five games. You know, and I hadn't, I didn't even notice it. And he had, he was averaging two rebounds a game. Mo's been getting six rebounds a game for us. That's a huge number. But DJ had two, and, and we told him about it. Um, now he just had six. So that's, that's the, he's just got to go there. He's just got to go there, and he did. That, that a lot of them were tap outs? It seemed yeah, like that, yeah, that, was yeah, that strategy? Yeah, yeah. Well, it, it, yeah, you know, we were shooting a lot of threes, so that's a longer thing. But yeah, and it, it's funny, the tap out is an incredibly good play to make. And some guys can just do it, and some guys can't do it. And we're finally getting to that point where we realize you got all these guys back, just tap it out. But they were, they were long rebounds, which is fortunate. They, we were missing so badly that they had long rebounds. We ended up getting the ball. Anything further? I feel like Duncan's being too hesitant. It looks like he keeps getting open. You know, you know, here's what everybody's doing with him. They're making him dribble. They're, they're diving at him. They're just running at him as fast as they can, and he's got to shoot it quickly. And he's got to be able to get shoot it quickly or just drive it. Like, the, the one time the seven-footer comes out in the press, and he doesn't shoot it or drive it. You know, he's got to be... Uh, I'd love the shot he did make, but he looked a little hesitant tonight. And uh, so we, we'll talk about that and make sure he knows he's got a green light. Is this how you imagine getting your 500 win at the D1 level? I didn't know it was, it was again. I didn't I know it was. But I, I didn't know if I'd ever be a Division One coach ever. 
Mm-hmm. When I did, when I didn't get the Colgate job a long, long time ago, I said this is it. That was my only shot, and uh, so it, I'm really pleased that it's all worked out. That's really that's five hundred at Division One. So I've been really lucky. Canisius gave me a break, a huge break, uh, and uh, and so did Richmond, and so did West Virginia and Michigan. So really been blessed with good staff, good coaches. Thank you, coach. Good players, really good players. <laughs>